हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द स्टूडियो सो यहाँ पे uh, दो इम्पॉर्टेंट अपडेट्स यहाँ पे देखने वाले हैं सो वन इज फोर्टी परसेंट वन इज एक्सक्रेशिया रेट पटिशन सॉरी सो डिस्कस करते हैं उसको सो ब्रीफ नोट ऑन फोर्टी परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट पेंशन इन स्टेट बैंक एंड द रेट पटिशन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फोर्टी परसेंट पेंशन इम्पोज ऑन एस बी आई रिटायरिज बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड एस बी आई वॉज अ जॉइंट केलर विच कोज हैवक एंड क्रिएटेड एक्ट्रोशियस अनोमलीज सो गवर्नमेंट हैज एट लीस्ट रिमूव दिस मॉन्स्टर फॉर्मूला एंड इंट्रोड्यूस फिफ्टी परसेंट पेंशन यूनिफॉर्मली टू ऑल एस बी आई रिटायरिज बट ओनली फ्रॉम अ प्रोस्पेक्टिव डेट दैट इज टेंथ नवंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री ड्यू टू नॉन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन रेट्रोस्पेक्टिवली of this uniform 50% rule so government of india has opened the door for creation of fresh anomalies in pension related issues in state bank and has given scope for further litigation in the courts the only way to reduce further injustice and anomalies to state bank of india pensioners is to remove the 40% principle retrospectively that is right from the date it was applied on every individual retiree so before introducing the dual 40 to 50% formula in 1999 there was an upper ceiling on basic pension in practice in state bank which was linked to the salary pension of the highest ranking officers in the bank so a large number of officers in the senior grades belonging to 6 bps period are the victims of this policy so the policy did not a rules free affect the officers in lower rank However, with the advent of dual 40-50 percent formula, anomalies such as retirees in higher ranks receiving lower pension than the pension received by officer and employees lower to them in rank started showing up. So this disparity went on increasing with periodic improvement of salaries and DA of officers and employees in lower rank as a result of the BPS. settlements so next uh, we will see the writ petitions so two writ petitions are now being heard in the honorable delhi high court one filed by the sbi pensioners federation and second filed by uh, mr umesh sharma and manohar lal pensioners in their individual capacity so fortunately the high court decided to club these two uh, wps and hear them jointly as the principal prayer in both the wp is the removal of 40 to 50% of the pensioners so the penfed being the pensioners representation body its wp covers pensioners community as a whole and hence if and when relief is granted by the court all the affected pensioners will receive the benefits the petitioners in other wp being two individual pensioners chances are that the court may not consider these petitioners as representing the entire community of the pensioners so finding a complete solution for removing of this draconian formula of 40% pension is not simple and easy unless the formula is removed at the root level that is retrospectively from the date it was created for every individual retiree the government decision to implement uniform 50% pension for all retirees is in the right direction but implementing it prospectively from 10th november 23 will not result in a closure of the rates it only helps in continued litigation so neither of two wps has addressed the anomaly of less than 50% pension apply to sbi officers who retired prior to introduction of 40 50% formula in the year 1999 so these affected pensioners will receive benefit only if high court delivers a common judgment covering both the writ petitions stating that the uniform 50% pension applies to all the pensioners whose pension was fixed at less than 50% for any reason the penfed is satisfied with the prospective decisions of government of india and decides not to press the wp then its wp will come to a close 
so if this happens the high court will dismiss penfeld's wp and it will be compelled to deliver judgment separately on the wp of mr umesh sharma and mr am lal so here lies the lurking danger so even if the court gives a judgment favorable to the petitioners the danger can fall not only on the pre and 1999 retirees but also the pensioners affected by 40 to 50 percent formula 2 so for the reason government of india sbi may rectify the anomaly for the rate petition alone but leave all other affected pensioners without justice deliver to them on the plea that they are not petitioners in the rate petition so such travesty of justice has taken place in the past in other cases so i think that mr p r r upadhyay too says this danger and has be made arrangements to make another writ petition filed in the karnataka high court by a group of pensioners so how wise it would have been if the pen fed had joined in both these writ petitions by individual पेंशनर्स मिस्टर एन राघविंदर राव जी की तरफ से तो आप यहाँ पे देख सकते हैं काफ़ी डेप्थ में जाके चीज़ों को डिस्कस करने की कोशिश हुई है 40 टू 50 परसेंट अनॉमली की वजह से जो हायर रैंक के अधिकारी हैं उनकी जो पेंशन है वो दोस्तों कम है इन कंपैरिजन टू द लोअर लेवल के जो अधिकारी वर्ग के एम्प्लॉय हैं कर्मचारी हैं सो so, मैटर अभी हाई कोर्ट में भी है हॉनरेबल हाई कोर्ट कर्नाटका हाई कोर्ट सो so, इसमें हमें अभी तक कोई सफलता नहीं मिली है रिलेटेड टू द रेट्स तो देखते हैं दोस्तों क्या होगा अभी बट फॉर दैट वी हैव टू वेट एंड सी मिस्टर उमेश शर्मा जी की तरफ से मिस्टर उमेश शर्मा जी इज़ डूइंग वेरी गुड डीड हेयर वर्किंग ट्वेंटी फोर बाई सेवन सो एनी अपडेट बाई मिस्टर उमेश शर्मा जी इज़ ऑलवेज द परफेक्ट so finding a complete solution for removal of this uh, formula that is of 40% pension is not simple so jab tak ye formula root level se nahi remove hoga that is from the back date so tab tak ye anomaly create karta rahega so jo abhi government of india ka decision hai to implement 50% pension wo abhi right direction mein hai uh, aur wo prospectively implement ho raha from 10th of november 20 23 but it will not result in the closure of the rates so let's see what will happen so that's all for this session so kindly share this important update subscribe to the channel